To get started with the select drop down filter, the first thing you're going to need to do is add something to filter on your canvas. The select drop down filter can filter post widgets, WooCommerce widgets, multi source galleries, or even dynamic loop widgets. Let's start off with the most common use case, which is adding a post widget. So inside of post widgets, we have all sorts of post widgets inside of unlimited elements, which that can be a post accordion, post tabs, post carousel, post timeline. Let's start off with the most common again, which is the post grid. Inside of the post grid, you're going to want to jump into post query. And this is the same for all the post widgets. And over here inside of include by terms, you can select whatever taxonomies that you want to output. So I'm going to select desserts and cocktails. And over here, instead of and, we're going to change that to or. So it's going to be cocktails or desserts. If you're going to leave that on and, that means that each post needs to have both of these terms to be shown in the post queries output. The last thing that you need to make sure before we're going to add our filter to the page is that we enable filtering. To enable filtering, we're going to go into post pagination and filtering. And over here, I'm going to enable post filtering. That just tells the post widget that it can connect automatically to any of our filters. Inside of the widgets pane, I'm going to search for select drop down filter and drag and drop that above my post widget. Right now, if I'm going to open the drop down, we'll see that it's showing a lot of unrelevant categories over here. To make sure that it's not showing that, what we're going to do is select over here, sync to post widget after load. What that means, it's going to load the page and then decide which categories to show inside of the drop down list over here once it sort of inspects what we have inside of our grid. So I'm just going to save that and preview the page since we cannot see that in the editor. We can only see the real outcome inside of the preview, the live page. So right now, as you can see, it's showing only the relevant categories. And if I select a certain category, then it will filter my posts exactly as I wanted. How easy and fast was that? And it's really flexible as well. The next example I'm going to show is going to be with WooCommerce products. So this time, instead of a grid, what I'm going to do is take a WooCommerce product carousel and show how we can filter that. Because many times, you can see these type of carousels not working with filters and we made sure that it will work with any type of WooCommerce or post widget. So let's turn off auto play in loop and determine the query first of all, right? So over here in the query, I'm going to include by terms that just select only men and women. So those are men woman and over here in include by term is relation we're going to change that to or as usual and post pagination and filtering we're going to turn on filtering the next step is to add our main filter so over here i'm going to search for select drop down filter and instead of making this a full width filter, I'm going to change the width to, let's say 200 pixels. And over here inside of layout, we can change that to inline and then justify it to the center. Looking good. Inside of term selection, and what we're going to do is inside of post type, I'm going to select product and what we want to filter is the product category so that's product cat and include by specific terms so this time instead of making it sync automatically i want some more control over here 
and I'm going to filter the specific terms which are women and men so I'm gonna search over here for women and now I'm going to search for men so we got those two and this time we can see it it won't filter in the back end but you can now see the exact list in the back end which is pretty awesome and I think we got everything set up inside of filter settings we're just going to change the role to main because later on what we want to do is add a child one so let's duplicate this and what I essentially want to make happen is that the user will select men or women and then he will see the subcategories down here so let's do the men one first so to do that in the second filter i'm going to select child because now it's going to be a child filter and in the term selection instead of specific terms i'm going to say children of and it's going to be children of men. So right now we can also see that coats, jeans, shirts, and shoes are the children categories of men. To test this out, let's just make sure the filter role is main and child, awesome. And I'm going to refresh the page. And now you can see that it's showing only one filter because we haven't selected anything yet. Over here, I'm going to select men. And once men is selected, it's showing the subcategories for men. And now I can select just men coats. And right now you can see it's showing just the men coats. Awesome. Let's move that to jeans, for example. And now it's showing only men jeans. So that's called a multi-level filter using the select drop-down filter. The last example that I want to show is how the filter works with galleries, which is really, really awesome. So let's add a gallery. So I'm just going to search for the word gallery to see all the types of galleries Unlimited Elements has to offer. And a really cool gallery is the masonry gallery. So I'm just going to drag and drop that inside of my canvas i'm going to change the source of the gallery to posts or products those are the one that support filters so let's do posts inside of the post query again i'm going to go for cocktails and desserts so it will output only cocktails and desserts i'm going to change that to or over here so we'll know how to show them and don't forget again to enable post filtering so right now we've enabled post filtering and now we're ready to add our filter let's search for the word select drag and drop that and this time actually before i'm going to set the term selection let's go into layout and see what we have to offer over here so let's turn on the label and let's change this to inline and justify to center so this is how it looks right now inside of style i'm going to change the select width to be in pixels and change that to 200 pixels. So right now we have sort of a label and our select dropdown. Back into content, I'm going into term selection. And over here, this time we're going to do a manual select again. And I'm going to do specific terms, cocktails and desserts. Got that set up, I'm going to save my page, then I'm going to jump into the front end view, and now you can see that I can filter a JavaScript gallery. I mean, this is pretty complex using the select filter. I hope you guys 
found this tutorial helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.